Hello everybody, this is Zach with Technology On Call and this is my product review slash unboxing of the Zag Spark 2.0. Um, I've already boxed this. Um, I didn't have my camera at the time that I um, got this. My birthday was this last weekend and uh, my uh, parents uh, got me this based on uh, uh, me talking about it. So um, I have a uh, Android based smartphone and I uh, use it throughout the day pretty heavily um, whether I'm using it for navigation or using log me and ignition to log into my computer at home um, but I'm a pretty heavy user as far as um, the amount of uh, strain I put on the battery of my smartphone and I uh, would constantly run into the problems of um, running out of battery and then when I needed to make a phone call <laughs> I didn't have any battery life so um, the Zag Spark, uh, what it is, it's a portable battery backup and charger. It's a 6,000 milliamp uh, battery that you can plug in. Anything that can charge through USB, um, pretty much you can plug into this and it'll charge it. Um, the box says that it gives you, um, can be charged over 2,000 times. Um, it says that it can, it, it has four charges for, you know, your typical smartphone like a iPhone or an Android phone, uh, which I'll be testing and uh, will be after this initial um, review. I'll I'll post that as well. Um, but inside the box, all you've basically got, I'll set this aside. You've got your user information, and all this tells you is, um, you know, there's LEDs on the front of it. And when you push this bottom button, if you have four LEDs, you have 100% power. Three is 79%, two is 59%, one is 39%, and none is below 20%. Um, it tells you, um, you know, don't store it below 40 or above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, also, when you first get it, it's completely discharged. And when you plug it into the wall, you know, and you would think that maybe, hey, these would light up, or at least I'd get one light, or maybe some type of animation where the, you know, the lights, you know, one, two, three, four, would light up as it's charging. But uh, don't be alarmed if you initially plug this up and you get no response or no lights, because um, it can take up to 30 minutes. It says on here it can take up to 30 minutes um, before you, the first light will will turn on. Um, Another important thing to note is that the USB ports here on the side, they're labeled. The top one is optimized and the bottom one is general. Um, optimized, um, as it says on here, is um, it, it's designed for smartphones, iPads, um, more uh, energy hungry devices. Um, the reason I say that is because I plugged my wife's uh, Motorola Citrus phone in the bottom or the optimized port thinking that. Um, you know, it's a smartphone, it, it probably needs that one. And after, I don't know, three or four hours of it being plugged in, it didn't charge her phone at all, even though the phone said it was charging. Um, so after having experienced that, I plugged hers into the bottom port, the um, general port, and we instantly started to see the, the battery percentage on her phone go up. Uh, my phone is a HTC Incredible, and when I plug it into the optimized port, it charges just fine. Um, it looks just like, um, if you're familiar with Macintosh, um, it looks just like their their power brick um, that comes on their MacBooks. Um, it's uh, very compact. It's very compact. It fits in fits in your hand, pretty much. Um, the one downside to this black finish is it's, it's a fingerprint magnet. Um, if you're, you know, really anal about that, uh, that could be a problem. As you can see, it, it leaves fingerprints pretty well. But um, and it's very easy to charge. You just fold out these prongs, plug it into the wall, and if you have any type of charge, it'll these lights will light up and show you where it's at. Um, and another thing I noticed, the battery will get pretty warm as it's charging, and once it gets to four. Um, I've noticed that it's cooled down, so it does um, detect when it's got a full charge and, and 
you know cease it, it, it cease to charge anymore it won't it won't overcharge it um, at least I don't think it will because I would think that it would get really hot if you left it in overnight and it was uh, reached its full charge at midnight I would think in the morning it'd be pretty hot but I this morning I touched it and it was it was nice and cold so that was comforting um, the only thing that comes in the box is of course this your one sheet double-sided manual your the little plastic case that it sits in it's wrapped in plastic as well and then you've got a European conversion that sits nicely right here so if you're uh, traveling where there's European outlets all you really have to do is plug this in just like so and it's ready for European outlets I don't think I'll ever be using that at least I don't foresee me using it anytime soon um, so what I'm gonna do today is um, I it's our afternoon here where I'm at and I've gotten my smartphone down to about a 30% charge and I'm gonna try to get it as dead as I can and um, plug it up to here and see how many lights if it you know one lights missing and it gets to 100% charge I'd say this is pretty accurate um, also you know one thing I think you'd have to keep in, in mind when um, charging your phone if you're out um, away from outlets or whatever and you have your phone with you and you're using it making phone calls and it's plugged into this charging I think a percentage of this battery is going to be used on your phone calls or web browsing or, or what have you as well as charging so you may not see it might, it might not be completely accurate as far as four complete charges if you're using the device while you're charging it so um, I'm just going to test it today to see how accurate these lights are based on just a charge only. Um, now I'll, I'll still have the phone will still be sitting idle. I mean, I guess I could put it in airplane mode to turn it completely off and, and in a standby state. But um, my Android phone um, is rooted, so it it underclocks itself um, when it's when the screen's off. So it doesn't pull very much energy uh, sitting sitting in standby. So um, I hope that this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any questions, please post your comments in the uh, section below. I'll post a link to Zag. We also um, actually purchased this from Foamy.com, or my father purchased it for me from Foamy.com, which is a great website. I'll leave their link in the description as well. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.